Somewhere in the silent blackness of space, just over four light years away, there's a world that has haunted astronomers for generations. A planet so close in cosmic terms, yet always hidden in mystery, Proxima b we've long suspected it was there, orbiting our nearest stellar neighbor, but it was like chasing a ghost. That is, until now. The James Webb Space Telescope, our most powerful eye on the cosmos, has just returned an image that defies belief. It's not a swirling galaxy or a collapsing star. It's something far more intimate and infinitely more unsettling. It's a planet. But not just any planet, a world that looks eerily familiar, like a memory we've never had. And what it reveals might not only change science, it might change everything. For years, Proxima b existed as a suggestion. A flicker in starlight. A subtle gravitational tug. A maybe. We modeled its size, guessed its temperature, imagined oceans or deserts, but it was all speculation. Even the Hubble couldn't resolve it. It was like trying to paint a portrait from behind a curtain. But Webb changed the rules. Its golden mirror pierced the cosmic fog and returned something astonishing, a clear, visible disk. Not an impression. Not data points. A photograph. With contours, gradients, textures. You could almost feel the planet turning, wind sweeping over its surface. It wasn't just real, it was alive in the data. NASA scientists stared at the first image in stunned silence. Mountains. Possible continents. Thermal patterns that hinted at flowing weather systems. And then, in the upper atmosphere, Webb saw something it shouldn't have. Trace chemicals, carbon dioxide, water vapor, and something unidentified. A spectral fingerprint that didn't match any known compound. Some called it interference. Others, a discovery. But one thing was certain, Proxima b just jumped from hypothetical to haunting. Even more shocking was what should have been impossible. This planet, circling a violent red dwarf star known for solar flares and radiation storms, somehow retained a thick, stable atmosphere. That shouldn't happen. The star should have stripped it bare long ago. But the atmosphere was there, dense, dynamic, distributing heat across the planet's surface. That meant Proxima b wasn't a scorched wasteland or a frozen tomb. It had climate. It had balance. It could have seasons. Rain. Oceans. Suddenly, the idea of life wasn't just possible, it was probable. Not in a distant galaxy, but just one stellar leap away from Earth. And then came the light. Not from the star. From the planet. Webb detected a persistent glow on the night side of Proxima b, structured, patterned, pulsing with eerie regularity. It wasn't thermal radiation. Not auroras. Not starlight. And it wasn't random. It followed a rhythm. At first, scientists blamed it on a glitch. But Webb confirmed it again. And again. Theories exploded, bioluminescent organisms? Subsurface activity? Artificial illumination? No answer fit. The more they studied it, the more it looked like the planet was, signaling. Then came the storm. In the planet's equatorial zone, a massive cyclonic system rotated for days, except the eye of the storm remained perfectly still. No drift. No movement. It was anchored. When they mapped it against Proxima b's weak magnetosphere, they found something chilling. The eye of the storm aligned with a strange magnetic void, like a hole in the planet's protective shield. A hole, or an opening. What's under that storm? A geological anomaly? Or something, hidden? But the most unsettling moment of all came from silence, not what Webb saw, but what it didn't. During a planetary transit, when Proxima b passed in front of its parent star, astronomers expected a predictable dip in brightness, textbook astrophysics. But what they recorded wasn't predictable. The light didn't dim as much as it should have. The drop was too shallow. Too brief. Almost, hesitant. As if the planet, for a fleeting moment, wasn't entirely there. 
as if part of it had become transparent. At first, scientists thought it was an error, maybe a data hiccup or a momentary glitch in Webb's vast sensor array. But cross-checks, repeat observations, and independent confirmations removed all doubt. This was no mistake. Something strange had happened. Explanations poured in. Atmospheric refraction? Solar flaring interference? Some unknown composition of gases bending light in new ways? None of it held. So the theories went deeper. Could this be an effect of gravitational lensing? Or something far more exotic, quantum cloaking, an artificial manipulation of visibility, a structure or material that bends photons around it? Something we've never seen, let alone imagined? For that moment, Proxima b didn't just bend the rules of planetary physics. It stepped outside them completely. It didn't block light the way a planet should. It didn't cast the right kind of shadow. It behaved like something trying not to be seen. But the anomalies didn't stop there. What shook scientists more than the optical mystery was what followed next, when they began comparing the planet's properties to Earth itself. Atmospheric composition, surface albedo, pressure readings, elemental traces, each layer of analysis brought back results that aligned disturbingly well with Earth during a specific and ancient period. Not the Earth you know. Not the one with blue oceans and green continents. But Earth as it was nearly 2.8 billion years ago, during the Archean Eon, a world shrouded in volcanic haze, with an atmosphere largely devoid of oxygen, where microbial life was just beginning to take hold in deep oceans and bubbling tide pools. Proxima b wasn't just similar. It was almost too similar. Was it convergent evolution, following the same chemical path by cosmic coincidence? Or was it something deeper? A mirror of our past? A prototype of Earth? Or, for those willing to entertain the most forbidden idea, was it seeded? Could some ancient intelligence, long gone or still lurking, have shaped this world deliberately? And here's the question that no one at NASA wanted to write in their official notes. Not at first. What if Proxima b is not just alive, but aware? Because when you assemble the pieces, the structured glow pulsing from the night side, the perfectly still eye of the equatorial storm, the spectral fingerprints that don't match any known chemistry, the vanishing transit, and the Earth-like signatures, you're left with a possibility that science has no language for. That Proxima b might be watching. Not simply reflecting starlight, but analyzing, responding, even observing us in return. For centuries, we've looked outward into the black void, asking the same question, are we alone? But maybe we were asking it in the wrong direction. Maybe the real question is, who's been watching us ask? Because with one photo, one extraordinary glimpse from the James Webb Space Telescope, that question didn't just echo back, it evolved. It became something else. Proxima b didn't just reveal itself. It redefined the game. It became a mirror. A warning. A message written across the fabric of space. Not in words, but in anomalies. In light that shouldn't exist. In a planet that vanishes when stared at too hard. So now, the real question is no longer, is there life out there? It's, what kind of life knows how to hide from us this well? And what else is still hidden? Tell us what you believe. Is Proxima B a second Earth? A living archive of our own history? A constructed world? Or something we've never dared to imagine? Let us know in the comments. And if this story unsettled you, share it. Because the truth is, the universe may not just be full of stars. It might be full of eyes. Subscribe. Hit the bell. And whatever you do, stay curious. Because the next time Webb stares into the dark, it might uncover something we were never meant to see.